Hello and welcome everyone to Gold Asset of the Day for the 28th of April 2020 presented by myself, Phil Carr, at the Gold and Silver Club. So first of all, what do you need to know here as we go into a new week? Two major news items that I would definitely have in your calendar are going to be Wednesday's FOMC statement, Thursday's European Central Bank announcement. These two market moving events can often be a catalyst for explosive moves for gold. We've mentioned this before, but certainly in the current environment of lockdown, where you may have more time available, this is just a perfect opportunity for you to learn the markets, observe these major news items, their impact that they do have on gold. You definitely want to not miss out on those tradable opportunities. And at the moment, when we are in a low interest rate environment, this is a great way to be able to benefit and gain profits fast in the market. You can really capitalize on these very fast moves that we often see for gold over these major news items. Now, as we discussed last week, last week we were actually selling short gold, banked 150 points on the long side. And in fact, we've reestablished fresh positions again here for gold on the long side for this week. So we're looking to capitalize on the potential of a breakout back towards the recent swing highs. We do need to see a bit more evidence that that is occurring over Wednesday and Thursday. But at the moment, we seem to have had another bear trap for gold, which is a false break of support over Tuesday's European session. We're subsequently seeing gold break back above 1700, picking up some momentum here. And typically, I would look for that to develop into a bull flag and a breakout and a test back towards the swing highs. We'll see how that plays out over the course of this week. As you know, we are very quick to protect our trades and we're also locking in profits as we go along with these types of trades. Being a trader, this enables you flexibility where you can profit, of course, when the price goes down as well as up. So you really want to be nimble in the markets right now. That's the most important thing. You want access to real-time data, a research-driven approach so that you can have an edge, not where you're using outdated technical strategies in the market that simply don't work in these trading conditions. You want to make sure that you're always trading with an edge, that you're trading with market intelligence, and that you have research and cycles on your side when you're taking positions but you also want to be nimble. You want to be able to benefit not only as the price goes up, but also as it goes down. Longer term, your view might be very bullish for gold. That's absolutely fine. But at the same time, you want to make sure that you're taking profits off the top of the move and you can capitalize from the sell-offs that we get as well as the upside moves for gold. As we go to the end of the week, we're going to be transitioning into May. And of course, next week is the first week of May. Typically, what we do see is the dollar can pick up momentum certainly into May and the first week of the month in particular. So I would look out for this. If we do see dollar strength come back into the market next week, this is where we could see gold under pressure. We may in fact see breakouts to the upside that get sold into even this week. So if we do see some follow through on gold, if we tap back towards resistance, the recent swing highs, the seven and a half year highs, we may get traps around those zones where you could see a sell off later in the week or into next week. I would just be mindful of that. We typically establish our positions at really low entries and then just as everyone in the market is starting to FOMO in, we want to bank the majority of our profits and even look to reverse position once we start seeing profit taking come into the market. So let me repeat that. Essentially, as we move into May, we could see the dollar strength come back into the market. As the saying goes, sell in May and go away as it relates to commodities. We might see a short term top for commodities such as gold, silver and so forth. We could see them correct into next week. Now, we do need to see evidence that this is occurring. You don't want to be blindly selling into the metals until you see that pressure to the downside, pick up momentum, but it's something to anticipate going into next week. Also, the gold silver ratio is breaking down at the moment, so it's back down to 112 to one. Typically in the short term, this does benefit gold and silver prices to go higher. So I'm tracking that as well. So far, gold at the moment is up 0.5% on the day. We're seeing support come back into gold and it's currently trading back above 1700. So our long position is picking up momentum to the upside. So that's our expectation with gold over the course of this week. And as I mentioned, if you would like to learn a research driven approach to the markets and get your edge where you're not utilizing outdated technical strategies, but you're actually using market intelligence, and you're taking advantage of a research driven approach, do just click on the link below this description to make an application to join us at the Golden Silver Club. And of course, make sure you subscribe to this YouTube channel. That way you're always kept updated with all of the latest commodity reports. So with that, that's been gold asset of the day. And of course, I wish you good trading.